If you're looking for the best finishes for wood kitchen table here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on the features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Minwax 6301044 Fast Drying Polyurethane Clear Finish. Minwax is one of the most recognizable and trusted names in woodworking. They offer stains, finishes, and other wood treatments to accentuate and protect wood's natural beauty. This is an oil-based poly. It's relatively viscous, making it a breeze to apply. I recommend using a clean cloth to rub this on, but a foam brush or a very thick natural bristle brush could work as well. It dries very quickly, so it's best to apply this in a dust-free area to avoid mistakes and the need for sanding and touch-ups. Despite the rapid drying time, I strongly recommend allowing this to cure for around 24 hours before reapplying or exposing the surface to wear. This finish leaves behind robust physical protection, so it will help keep your table safe from scratching and scuffing, even throughout constant use. The polyurethane contained in the solution offers defense against liquids and food stains, so you won't have to worry about spills or messes that can frequently occur on tables. This finish is not food safe, so you'll need to be careful not to consume any food that comes in contact with it, even after it's fully cured. The potentially harmful chemicals could leach into your food and present a problem for you or your family. This finish is available in satin, semi-gloss, and gloss finishes, so you can choose your desired sheen. I recommend a satin or semi-gloss finish for a more natural look on raw wood, like maple. Minwax offers this polyurethane in one-quart cans that are somewhat expensive compared to other options. However, the protection this finish provides will likely last for several years, so I believe it's worth the money. It has a low odor and won't smell up your kitchen. It contains some volatile organic compounds, VOCs, so it's best to wear a face mask and gloves when applying. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Grizzly Industrial H2372 Good Stuff would finish for maple tops. Grizzly Industrial predominantly manufactures high-quality woodworking tools, but they also offer several wood finishes and treatments for maintaining project durability. This is a urethane-based finish that is thin, making it very easy to apply with a cloth. I got the best coverage and results when working it onto my projects with a circular motion. You could opt for a foam brush, but I experienced some imperfections when applying with foam. I recommend waiting at least 4 hours in between coats to allow curing on the surface. Once it is completely dry, it creates a nice protective layer on your wood that will help resist some minor damage from scratching, scuffing and regular use. It doesn't offer the same resistance as many other options, so it's best for hardwoods that will naturally resist damage. Just a few coats will also provide protection from water, alcohol, and other food spills, so you won't have to worry about damaging your hard work once this finish has cured over the top. Since this product is urethane-based, it is entirely food-safe once it has dried. This is an excellent option for those who have children or pets in their home who may decide to eat directly off the table if the opportunity arises. It only comes in a low-gloss finish, so you'll have to choose a different product if you're looking for a high shine. However, the appearance is gorgeous and entirely clear, so it won't discolor your wood or detract from its natural beauty. This finish is only available in one-quart cans, and it is costly. However, I think it's worth the money if you want great protection while remaining safe for food contact. The formula has a low odor and contains no VOCs. You don't need protective gear when using this finish, but I recommend gloves just to maintain cleanliness. The number 3 position is held by General Finishes Armor Seal Oil-Based Top Coat. General Finishes is a well-respected brand name in the woodworking industry. 
They create a variety of finishes, stains, and sealers to help protect wood. This is an oil-based finish that is relatively thick, so I recommend applying it with a cloth. You could opt for a foam brush for faster coverage, but I found that foam makes it bubble up a bit, requiring sanding between coats. I recommend waiting about 12 hours before recoating to allow for adequate curing. It provides a very durable top coat that can stand up to heavy traffic from hands, elbows, cutlery, plates, and glassware. It will likely protect your wood for several years without needing to be refinished. It offers a waterproof barrier in addition to physical protection, so it will keep your table defended from spills and food stains. This finish is not food safe, so any food that comes in contact with the treated surface should not be consumed. It's available in satin, semi-gloss, and gloss finishes, so you'll have your choice of sheen and can customize depending on your other furniture and decor. It comes in pint, quart, and gallon containers, allowing you to optimize your cost for your project's size. Each size is relatively inexpensive, and it provides excellent value for the money. Next at number 4 we have Waterlocks TB6044 Original Satin Finish. Waterlock specializes in highly protective wood finishes and sealers that resist physical damage and maintain water resistance. This is an oil-based finish made primarily from tongue oil. It's somewhat viscous but not quite thick enough to make brush application easy. I recommend applying this with a clean cloth. It tends to bubble a bit while you're working, but working on a hot day and being sure to make light passes will help limit surface imperfections. This hardens into a durable layer over your wood, so you can rest assured that your table will be protected from scratching and scuffing from glassware, cutlery, plates, and regular use. The tongue oil contained in the solution creates a water-resistant seal on your table. It will keep the wood underneath safe from water damage and stains from drinks or food served on your table. The number 5 position is held by Verithane 200041H Water-Based Ultimate Polyurethane. Verithane is a prominent brand name in the woodworking industry known for its wood finishes, stains, and protective coatings. This polyurethane is water-based, which means it's very thin and can only be applied with a clean cloth or foam brush. I found some bubbles forming when using a foam applicator, so I recommend rubbing this on. When applied correctly, this finish provides excellent protection for your wood. It will resist scratches and scuffs, so it's a great option for tabletops that will see a lot of use and wear. However, the low viscosity means it goes on very thin. As such, you'll need to apply at least three coats to get the same protection as many other products provide in two. This will extend your working time quite a bit. It dries to the touch very quickly and cures enough for recoating in about two hours, so the time you'll wait around for it to dry is minimal. Once it's dry, it defends against food stains and liquids that are common on kitchen tables. This product is not food safe, so you will need to make sure any food that touches the surface isn't consumed. The number 6 position is dominated by Rust-Oleum Verithane 9061H 1 half pint interior oil polyurethane. Rust-Oleum is a respected name for its products designed for priming, painting, and protecting surfaces. Their finishes are used across multiple industries, including woodworking. This is an oil-based polyurethane that is very thick. It's not quite thick enough to apply easily with a brush, but it can also be a bit challenging to rub on with a cloth. I recommend opting for the latter. It dries very quickly to the touch, which means you'll have minimal time to correct any mistakes. It's also best to work in a dust-free area, otherwise you'll have a difficult time with debris landing and drying on the surface. It cures into a durable protective layer that will resist scratching and other physical damage with ease. It also creates a water-resistant barrier that will stand up to spills and food messes without the risk of ruining the wood below. These protective qualities make it an excellent choice for high-traffic kitchen tables. This finish is not food safe, so you'll need to be careful not to ingest anything that comes in contact with it. 
As I said in the previous review, you'll need to be careful not to let your family members or pets eat anything that drops on the table. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Old Master's clear satin finish. Old Master's offers many different wood finishes for adding protection and beauty, including waxes, polyurethanes, and sealers. This is a gel polyurethane, meaning it's exceptionally thick. You can most easily apply this with a dense natural or synthetic brush, which means you can get the job done quickly. However, it takes longer than most products to cure fully. I recommend waiting about 8 hours before recoating and a full 3 days before exposing your finished tabletop to regular use. The long curing process does equate to an incredibly durable layer of physical protection. I'm confident this will stand up to years of regular use without wearing down too much. This makes it ideal for tabletops that get used daily. It forms a water-resistant barrier that will defend against liquids and food stains, protecting your wood from damage that can occur during meals. This polyurethane is not food safe, so it can be dangerous to eat food that comes in contact with it. As such, it's not the best product for homes with children who won't know not to eat directly off of the table. It's only available in clear satin. This happens to be my favorite finish for a natural-looking kitchen table, but you may prefer another option if you like a shine on your furniture. The number 8 position is held by General Finishes Enduro VAR Water-Based Urethane Top Coat. This is a water-based polyurethane, but it's thicker than most others with similar formulas. It's thin enough for easy cloth application or use with a foam brush, but I recommend rubbing this onto your table. I experienced quite a few bubbles when I used a foam applicator. It dries quickly but cures slowly and won't be ready for recoating for about 6 to 8 hours. I found the best results with a light sanding between coats. The dry time and the need for sanding will extend your total project time quite a bit. Once it's dry, it adds great protection from scratches, scuffs, and other physical damage. I'm confident this will stand up to regular use for several years without needing to be reapplied. Next at number 9 we have Minwax 70012444 Wood Finish Penetrating Stain. This is an oil-based stain, but it doesn't contain any polyurethane. As such, it's very thin and easy to apply with a rag. You could use a foam brush, but you'll get much better coverage and even color if you rub this into the grain. It takes a bit of effort to apply correctly, but the result is good, and the process is straightforward. The treated surface will be dry to the touch in about 2 hours, but I recommend waiting 6 to 8 hours before recoating if needed. The color darkens slightly as it dries fully, so applying a second coat too quickly may end up in your table being darker than you anticipate. This doesn't contain any hardening materials, so it won't provide any physical protection. However, the stain will help your wood remain rich in color even if it's exposed to the sun, so you'll have the benefit of some minor UV resistance. Finally the number 10 position is dominated by Tried and True Varnish Oil. Tried and True manufactures several different finishes for wood, all of which focus on both protection and a non-toxic formula that is safe for humans and the environment. This is an all-natural, oil-based protective coating. It's far thicker than most other options, which can make it a bit of a challenge to apply. You'll have to put some effort into rubbing it onto the grain evenly. It takes quite a while to dry, and three to four coats are recommended. As such, your entire project will take several days to finish. Additionally, you'll need to spend some time wiping off any excess product an hour after application, which extends your working time quite a bit. It offers minimal protection from scratches and scuffs, so it's best for hardwoods that will naturally resist damage better than softer surfaces. The oils are naturally water-resistant, so your surface will be somewhat protected from water and moisture. The layer isn't as durable as many other finishes, so reapplication will be needed more often with this product. The most significant benefit of using this finish is that it's made of natural oils and resins, making it entirely food-safe, non-toxic, and environmentally friendly. 
You can use this on your kitchen table without having to worry about disposing of food that comes in contact with the surface. That's all for today. We upload tech product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.